To be or not to be? That's not the question. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. And I'm Connor. And welcome to my world. You know, Connor, this skull gives me a great idea for a Halloween game. You hmm. Want me to tell you about it? Are we going to play whack-a-mole, but whack the skull? <laughs> whack the skull. That, that's, a, that's a very violent game. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not whack-a-skull. However, you can get these really inexpensive skulls. They're just plastic skulls. You can usually find these at dollar stores. And here's the thing you do. You write up a whole bunch of celebrity names. Like, well, give me a, give me a bunch of celebrities. Like mm, Katy Perry. Uh, who Tom else? Cruise. Very good. Um, Barack Obama. A whole list of names and you write them down and you put them just on little slips of paper and then you put them in a, a cauldron or a hat I mean it is you know Halloween so you could put them in a cauldron and then you break your group into teams and then each team comes up and they pick a name from the cauldron I got Tom Cruise <laughs> good for you that's quite a coincidence <laughs> considering that I just said Tom Cruise <laughs> and then what you do is you give them a whole bunch of art supplies felt duct tape, uh, sharpies, sequins, you name it, yarn, anything that you can think of, cotton balls, all kinds of fun stuff. And you give them a half an hour. And the project that they have to do is to decorate their skull like the name on their tag. And then what you do is you have a little skull fashion show and you see if everybody can guess who the skulls are. And you can make the, the runway with duct tape. <laughs> you could make the runway or, with duct tape. Uh, or, uh fake grass. Oh, like uh, AstroTurf. Yeah. Yeah. Or since it is a graveyard, maybe it should be like fake dirt. Mm -hmm. You know, you could roll them down and say heads will roll. So we're going to test this out, right? Okay. So let's just pretend that we had handed out our names and you and I are going to see if we can guess who these skulls are. Ready? First one. Uh, I'm not sure if I can do this. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Riba. I, I have no idea who that is. Oh, think. My mom? Maybe? Ooh. No? Well, the eyelashes are kind of like your mom's. How about Carmen Miranda? Oh. I'm Chiquita Banana, and I'm here to say. Oh. That's actually really well decorated. I know, isn't it? Frida did that. Okay, so. If you were maybe a little bit older, you would have gotten Carmen Miranda, or you could have said the Chiquita Banana Lady. Okay, this is one I know you'll get. How about this one? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, no, it's Elvis Presley. <laughs> very good. Elvis. All right, well, Connor won, Sophie won. Well, I knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay, Connor won, Sophie okay. won. Connor won, Sophie won. Okay, and ready? Oh, it's Albert Einstein. <laughs> Very he's good. not sticking his tongue out. I was going to say you. <laughs> and his hair is not standing up quite as high. But anyway, you get the idea. So the idea is that each group would decorate their skulls the best of their abilities. And then everybody would try to guess whose skull was who. And the best decorated skull could win a prize. Would it be their skull? <laughs> I think we'd let everybody take home their own skulls. <laughs> that, that's not what I meant. I meant the one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, sure, they could win. Or they could win a golden skull. Or maybe uh, something special. Oh, they could say, you're the owner of the best skull. The best skull, exactly. For more fun Halloween games and ideas, come and check us out at sophie-world.com. Mm. Interesting. Can you enlighten me about the theory of relativity, please? Hmm.